All right, so this Kenny Santos uh, from KennySantos.com out of Toronto, Canada. This one has to do, um, it's a follow-up from the last video I did. Uh, this weekend, I was actually in a training. Actually, I was in a training in this very room that I'm going to do a, a presentation for in about... Uh, about an hour and so the, the room's empty right now but this one um, has to do with timing you see the last video that I did had to do with um, you know what that a lot of whether your prospect says yes or no to an invitation or especially to joining your business has a lot to do with the timing that's happening in their life and you know what I invite you to watch that video if you haven't seen it um, I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one so that you can see it and so you know what what I'm referring to but what I want to get to is this is that just because the timing is wrong for them doesn't mean that it's a no forever obviously if the timing is wrong that maybe you should follow up three to six months later and you know what the bottom line is do not take them off your list and at the training that I was uh, at um, one of the trainers his name is Jerry he said you know what it's, it's like the husband asking his wife he kind of like to go to bed you know what it's like you know what well how about tonight honey and you know what she says she's not in the mood and so you know what it's not like how do I say it's not like he's not gonna ask the next night if he wants some loving right and so you know what um, would you take your wife off the off your list if she said no? And obviously you wouldn't, right? You just keep on asking. And so one of the best ways to to make sure that you do follow up with the person is this: is that you know what? If you do get a no, and actually I shouldn't say if, when you get a no, because you're going to get a lot of no's if you're doing this uh, business correctly. But when you get a no, say you know what? That's okay, Bob. You know what? Um, obviously the timing's not right for you. Let me ask you something. Do you mind if I, you know what? Do you mind if we revisit this again, maybe in another three to six months? And of course, if you ask uh, properly and you ask with a lot of confidence, Bob's going to say yes. Now, what, uh, what I invite you to do is this. What I invite you to do is make sure that you do follow up with Bob in three to six months from now. Maybe whatever's happening in his life that uh, caused him to say no, maybe a circumstance has changed. And maybe he gets hungry again. So make sure you do follow up with him. And whatever system you use, if you use a day timer, then make sure you put it into, you know, put it into your calendar. If you use uh, Google calendars, make sure you put it in there so that when you wake up and you, the next morning or that, you know, three months later, you're like, oh yeah, I need to talk to, to Bob today because, you know, the timing wasn't right. And it's been about 90 days. Whatever that is, that means, you know what, you do this enough, then you'll have an endless source of leads that, you know what, maybe you've called them before and say, you know what you call them up and uh, you know what you revisit it and actually what I'll do is I'll make another video on how to revisit this situation again all right um, when you're talking to that person I'm sure that you like that also in the description of this video actually the first link that I'm gonna put is a link to for you if you like that um, the seven deadly sins of multi-level marketing and more importantly how to avoid them um, you know what it's perfect for a brand new network marketer or a multi-level marketer it's great for a superstar that knows they haven't reached the full potential and so go ahead and get that and also what I invite you to do is like subscribe share and comment on this video wherever you're seeing this whether it's on YouTube or on my blog or any other video format thanks a lot and create a wonderful day